The alternate universe or still ball run universe in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure contains, in my opinion, the two best parts in the entire series. These two parts are also amongst a community usually at the top of the list in favorite slash best parts. Them being Steel Ball Run and Jojolian. What I think makes them garner so much praise, with other reasons I'll get into later, is that they play out the nostalgia and all of the great moments that were in the original six parts. This obviously isn't being said as a bad thing or a critique, but instead as praise, because the Steel Ball Run universe is essentially a love letter to not only the series itself, but also the fan base. With that being said, the Steel Ball Run universe isn't good solely off its nostalgic aspects but it's also Araki's progression as a writer and his switch to a seinen magazine. And with these tools, he has masterfully melded together his original universe with his new and fresh ideas, nuances, characters, stands, and stand battles that resulted in the greatness of parts seven and eight. And like the prior six parts, the Steel Ball Run universe excels in its characters, but adding interesting twists on them with some of them being alternate universe counterparts. The characters that come into mind when speaking on this are of course the main JoJo's Johnny Joestar and Josuke Higashikata, fan dub Gappy respectively. Johnny being the most selfish of all JoJo's go through a redemption arc to regain the use of his legs. And because of his selfishness, he plays an almost if not perfect contrast with the noble boy scout Jonathan. While with Josuke, he starts the story not even knowing who he is himself. We later find out he's the fusion of two characters, so he struggles with his identity and which his nuances lie. Both parts share similarities but also differ, and these differences really help them reinforce the greatness of the alternate universe. You see, with Steel Ball Run, its setting is primarily staying in America. Its secondary setting is always changing, with our characters racing across the entirety of the United States. It also has elements that aren't seen in any parts, like having its main antagonist, Funny Valentine, being a character that has you believe he's in the right and question if Johnny is even the good guy or the one to root for. In Jojolian, it takes place in a town we are similar to, Morio. It does have its own uniqueness in its mysterious feel, characters not having direct one-to-one -one counterparts, with most being a fun mixture of multiple characters from the original universe, the stand fights being less so fights and more so complex puzzles, seemingly not really having a main villain, and its breakage of the traditional JoJo formula makes it shine as the most different part. With all these aspects, it's hard to deny the greatness that is the Steel Ball Run universe. And as always, thank you very much and have a great day.